Hey guys, and I have some very good news today. Today we are going to be doing a review on the NECA Shin Gojira, or Godzilla, whatever you want to call it. I, I call it Gojira because it's the, the original name. Okay, so let's get this guy out of the packaging. Okay, so here is Shin Goji out of his box. Let's take a good look at him. And now, the story about this, when I first saw the first version, if you ever saw it, of the Shin, the NECA Shin Godzilla, there was a first version, and I was so excited. It looked so cool. But everyone seemed to hate it for some reason, even though, I mean, like people were saying it didn't look out of proportion like Shin Godzilla, and they didn't like it and like it looked too traditional like a traditional Godzilla and like you know but to me it looked perfect I, I didn't care if it was, looked like a traditional Godzilla but then finally Mecca decided to bring this guy along and at first I was so mad it's because to be honest he doesn't look as good at all in pictures at all really but once I really have him in my hands to look at him in person he does look pretty cool and, of course, a lot more movie accurate. So, uh, trust me, you will be impressed with this figure. Let's go through the articulation. You can see the, the paint. It's all pretty consistent. So, let's go through the articulation. So, let's focus. Sorry, it's my... So, his, his mouth can move really, really far. Like, it's... He can, his arm, his mouth can move like really far down. If only they made his jaw split open like it did in the movie. Spoiler alert, sorry. And the head can swivel. Looks like a 360 he can do. The neck is pretty tight, honestly. Ah, I don't want to break it. So, I'm guessing the neck can probably go 360 degrees, but be careful. If, and if it breaks, don't blame it on me. Now from there, the waist can swivel, not too far from mine. Once again, it probably can, but I just don't want to take a chance of breaking it. The arms, they have a, a shoulder joint, an a elbow joint, and then a wrist joint. And there's a, oh, oh, I don't know do that. The legs, they of course can move like this. They're, they're pretty cool. And they, you can also tw uh, twist them a little, a barely, right here. The feet can move. It seems like this figure is pretty stiff, but I, I guess I would have probably a little bit of a hard time doing stop motions with these. This one? Yeah. And the tail? This is a very unique tail for a NECA figure. Usually, like, it's not just like... To me, the tail, I also couldn't stand the tail at first. But, it, I mean, it looked, it was like, what the heck is that? But, I guess in person it's not really that bad. It's not, like, horrifying, horrible bad. But, the tail, it can swivel. It's got... Quite a few joints, right here, right here, right here, and they can swivel right here. So, that's pretty much the articulation for this figure. Let's take a look at the paint. Okay, sorry about that white noise, that's just the sink, but anyways, the paint, it's all pretty consistent. I like how they added red, I, the, the, I really like how, the, like how the red is put. It's a lot better than SH Monster Arts figure. I mean, even though it's really sad that a $20 figure looks a lot more better than a $200 figure paint wise. And yeah, the mouth. Wow, look at that mouth. That looks so very good. They left a little gap right there, so that's okay. The teeth, they, the teeth are pretty well painted. It's not like it's uh, like, you know, and the. The red, like on his, it looks like lava to me. Like a few other YouTubers have said that. I mean, look at that. Just picture lava and then oh gosh, that's not really the best area, but um, 
change. There's, I really, that sternum is really cool looking, to be honest. But another thing I couldn't stand about this at first was the head, like when I first saw the first pictures of it. And, but it seems like in person the head is not as small. In the pictures, it looked like the head was probably the smallest NECA head I had ever seen in my life. But, that, but then I got get it this in person, and it's actually pretty movie accurate, and it's not as tiny as I was expecting. But still, it's a really good figure. And really, really, the paint is just perfect, to be honest. The only problem I probably have is that the dorsal plates, like the, that's a little too bit of a bright red. The, it's just a little too much like red. If, if there's just a tiny bit less, like right here or something. Oh, oops. There's just a tiny bit less red right there than this figure would have been perfect color-wise. The tail, it's, it's pretty movie accurate color-wise. And there's a very highly debated tip tail end, maybe, with, with the face, I can't really see a face on it, oh wait, look, there it is, mouth, the eye socket, I don't even know if I'm just, just, like, hallucinating, or, and I also like how they added, on this side, how they added these, kind of, like, bone pieces, that, that, to me, that looks very cool, yep, I would definitely recommend this figure, I mean, it is really good, to be honest, I'd seriously recommend it, so I hope you enjoy your NECA Shin Godzilla. I will see you later.